Hey guys, it's Allie. Welcome to another Thrifty Tingles, where I visit a local thrift store in search of tingly items to share with you. Now, if you've never seen Thrifty Tingles, there are three basic rules that I have to follow. Rule number one, I cannot spend over five dollars. Rule number two, the item or items that I purchase have to be not only tingle-worthy, but also useful to me in my own life. And rule number three, each time I visit the thrift store, I have to bring something of mine to donate. Something that I'm no longer using, but might be of value to somebody else. On my last trip to the thrift store, found two items that I'm going to share with you um, that I bought in preparation for a role play that I will hopefully be working on soon. Um, and they looked like they would make really good props for that video. Um, and I donated little like household trinket type things, um, just little um, knickknacks that I was never going to use or display anywhere. So I donated those. And here's what I found. This is kind of the nicest box, but this is a set of 100 interlocking poker chips. Um, there are uh, white or ivory, red, and blue. I'm going to open these up and just play with them a little bit and show them to you. And the second item that I found, um, by chance, I don't even think it was in the same section as the poker chips, um, is this gigantic deck of playing cards. And um, it's luckily a full deck. There's 52 cards in here. I made sure to count them <laughs> before I bought it. And each of these items was 99 cents. So I only spent uh, about $2 at the thrift store for these. Now I won't give away any details of what roleplay I'm planning, but you can kind of get the gist of it based on these two props. So, I'm going to show you the poker chips a little bit. I really love the sounds that poker chips make. And then I'll show you these cards a little bit more up close, and I thought I would also play game of giant solitude. Because I really like solitude. Here we go. So, these are bicycle brand poker chips. I don't really know of any other brand of poker chips, to tell you the truth. This box contains 100 poker chips. And it says on this side, from the makers of a 
America's favorite playing card. Um, the big ones I have are not bicycle brand, but that's okay. So it says that the box contains fifty. Three colored chips, 25 red, and 25 blue. This box looks pretty old. I'll read the details on the side of the box. It says, interlocking, easy stacking poker chips. New casino style colors, durable, washable plastic, 50 ivory, 25 red, 25 blue, made in the USA. What more do you need to know? Open this box up and take some of these out. of white ones. Several red and several blue. I've always really liked the little kind of delicate some of the white ones. I don't know if you'll be able to see the bicycle logo on here if I hold it up close. It's pretty faint. Right together.
can vary depending on what game they're playing, but I believe that in a lot of games, white poker chips um, uh, represent one dollar. Red. Represent five dollars. represents ten but again I think it can vary I don't play a lot of poker so I'm not Super knowledgeable about that. That's a nice sound. Like stacks of poker chips. Okay. So 
here we go. These are not bicycle brand cards, so they're not America's favorite playing card. Uh, by a brand called Oil. I think that's the brand. what year these were made, but in my uh, investigating I found out that they were made sometime in the 80s. This is their model number, 1310, if you happen to be interested in sort of So gigantic. And they are Nevada finish, which I couldn't tell you what that means. So. I guess it has something to do with how they're made. And they're plastic coated. Seven of hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven.
wonder if you can do giant magic tricks with a giant deck of cards. I never really learned any cards. learned how to shovel a deck, and that was pretty much it. It's not really a trick, though. be able to fan all these up. This is too many. on what you're playing. This is possibly a very, very good hand. These cards need to be shuffled before I play my game. Okay. Well, now I'm going to switch shots. I'm going to go ahead and set up this solitaire game. <laughs> it's been some time since I've played, so bear with me if I have to take a second to <laughs> remember something. Okay, here we go. Set up here is uh, seven columns. First card is face. 
face up. Our first column, sorry, is one card face up. Second column, one card face down, one face up. Third column, Do this until you have seven columns. Two, three, four down, one up. Four piles. The goal is to create four piles. Um, with every card belonging to one of those piles. So it is going to be all four suits. Clubs, diamonds, spades, and hearts. And they're all going to be Time you remove a card off the top of one of the columns. We flip. Okay. So the next card we put here will have to be the next card in the sequence, which is a two of spades. We don't have one of those, so let's see what. it on the black queen. And that makes us a space to bring this pile over here. A pile can start with a king only. So now we have two cards we can flip. One, two. Oh. And there are two spaces. See any more moves right now? So let's start drawing from our our pile. We have to draw three cards at a time.
playing, we can go ahead and play that right here. And we have a black six. Sometimes these games are, they have like no outcome and then you just have to stop and start over, which can be frustrating, but you just start again. Okay, that can't go anywhere. place for this guy. Nothing. Nope. And we can play it anywhere. Either here or here. Just kind of do it here just for fun. And then we've got a red nine we can play. Finally. Okay, so I'll flip this one over. Another piece goes right there. can go here on the jack. And we've got a two. And that'll go into our diamonds pile. And nothing for the five right now. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Draw three. Another five. Two, 
two, three. Okay, got a two hearts. I can go right here. And see this six can go here. See what is under here. Okay, two clubs right there, and seven. Okay, let's look and see. Nowhere for the seven to go. Nowhere for the seven. We can go here and our four. What else? Okay, I think that's it for now. Let's try again. Eight of diamonds. doesn't have anywhere to go. Okay, I think that's it. One, two, three. And we've got a five. Three of spades. Go right here. Seven. It's a big truck going by, sorry. Alright, nowhere for the seven to go. Here, so we can get this over here, and I think that's stuck for now. Okay. All right. Keep going. One, two.
run out of movies. Let's get going. One, two, three. There's eight again. There's nothing. Anyway, <laughs> I won't start a whole new game because that would just we could go on like this for hours and hours. I like salt. moves I could have made. So, if that happened while you were watching and it drove you crazy, I apologize. Hopefully we're able to find this relaxing anyway. and really And I'll be seeing you again. Very soon. Good night. So here's the bus stop, and here's the umbrella. so big. Oh wow, okay. I told her off. 